In this video, we look at a handwritten example, which will help us to do process mapping. Let's have a good look at a study situation, and we're going to be using all those symbols that you're quite familiar with. We have expectations based on our history, that is knowing how well we have done in the past. On the basis of our expectations, we're going to need to come up with some sort of method, some sort of way of being able to succeed in our studies. So what do we do? We come up with a plan. That's an approach on how we're going to end up succeeding. And we apply this, we implement this plan in the hope of doing well. The method is the actual action or work that lies behind this plan. We then do what is needed to study and carry out our method. And then we engage in a test which gives us some sort of result. It's obvious that the result will tell us something about the effectiveness of our method. Let's call A our expectations in this example. In the purple section we ask does A our expectations meet up with B which is our results. Are the results in line with our expectations? If our study method has been acceptable we know that it works and we can go into improving on it. On the other hand, if we fell short of our expectations and did badly, we move in the opposite direction, in the direction of no. In this case, we've done rather badly. In the case of getting good marks, it would indicate that our method was a good method and that it worked. A poor mark, on the other hand, would say that it's an unworkable method and therefore the required redesign. We need to relook at the approach, the way we went about studying. And so we have to redesign C, C being the method or the approach, the way we studied. The results indicate that C is an unworkable method and therefore needs redesign. Our study method needs to be re-looked at. And so we come up with a new plan, a modified method, which is in line with a new expectation. This new method might involve using new techniques like writing notes, mind mapping and so forth and so on and now you need to do something to try out your new method and see if it really worked so you have new expectations new ideas of how effective this new method going to be you are hoping that it'll bring in the expected results you're going to need to try out or test to see whether it was effective how will you try out or test to see how effective you've been you could go and ask your teacher for a past test paper and do a dummy test to see how effective your learning method has been. You want to see if your modified learning method works. We want to identify whether we've improved our study skills. We ask ourselves if we are far better than we were at the beginning of the whole process. We return to one, which is the start of the whole process, showing our approach or our method, our study approach. The results of our tryout should indicate somewhat whether our method, our new changed method, is an improvement and something we need to incorporate into our study approaches. The results will tell us whether we have improved ourselves at all. As you can see, the arrow pointing to the one indicates that we are referring to one, the beginning of the whole process. Basically, this is a process of doing something reflecting and see whether it is effective and if not modifying and improving on one's approach to try be more effective and more capable of succeeding. I hope that this exercise has been useful in helping you to understand process mapping. We thank you for your support and urge you to subscribe to our channel.